hi guys welcome back to my channel so today i'll be talking about driving license in finland and how you can get it actually in my previous videos and also on instagram i've received a couple of uh, questions from people asking about a um, uh, driving license how to get it and then if you can use your old one and all that but i didn't have time to include those questions in my previous uh, uh, q a uh, videos but recently i got again the same um, uh, a question with regards to driver's license so that is why i'm making this video so i have a couple of other questions for this month but i'm separating this particular uh, uh, question and answering it separately because i want to make the the step-by-step -step process of uh, applying for the driver's license so i don't want to mix it up with the other questions so it's, it won't be too long video so without wasting time let's get right into the video um the question says um hi olivia Thank you for the good videos that you, you post. Hope you are doing well. I couldn't bring my driver's license to Finland. I know it can be uh, expensive. Can you do a video on how to get a driver's license in Finland? I searched on YouTube, but there are only old videos there. All right. So um, I just got mine recently. Like not so recently, but I just got mine this year. So I can actually answer the question for you. Yes, I can i can give you the step-by-step -step procedure and also talk about my own um, experience so um, first of all let me start that um start by saying that um it's, it would be helpful if you can bring your own uh, driver's license to finland i mean if you already have it then bring it when you're coming to finland i made a video where i talked about the things you should bring before or get before arriving to finland and the things you should bring you know when coming to finland i'm going to uh, link that video up uh, here so you can check it out so these are things that will actually make your life easier here in finland so one of them is the driver's license if you already have it then bring it and uh the good thing is that um certain countries have agreement with finland so it means that you can also use your license here and you don't really have to like do much just register it here and then they can tell you the process and you can use it i mean it's so much cheaper and so much shorter than if you are to go through the process and get a new license actually i know someone that the country has an agreement with uh, finland so he brought his license here and he told me he just went and registered it i mean he didn't really do anything but i i heard that um was a couple of years ago then you have to maybe do another test but i think now it has changed i mean the process is easier for you if you bring your own license you may not even do anything just start uh, register it and start using it so if you have already my point is please bring it but if you don't have then um, what you can do is that you can try to get it the very first um, registration or thing that you have to register for is to apply for a driver's license is when you apply for it then you can start maybe writing the test and doing the, the the practice you know so that's the first thing that they'll tell you that you can apply now if you don't know the process or how to do it just sign up with the driving school and then they will show you the links that, that's what i did in my case because i didn't know the the right website i just went to the driving school called them on the phone first of all that i need in, in english you know and then they they got it available of course we're also speaking english and finnish but at least i need also english at some point so i went and i told them and then they gave me the website to apply and then i started applying and all that so they can also help you through the, the process check online and then or walk into any uh, driving school and then register with them so when you register and sign up for their driving school actually they have different packages they some have um, the premium package some have the the general package and then uh, package and then some have the more uh, more expensive one so it depends on the number of real driving hours you have in those uh, in th those packages and stimulation and all that so um, some of them will give you like 12 hours of real driving and two hours of stimulation that's driving on the computer or whatever it is <laughs> and some of them would give you just real driving and some will give you six hours of stimulation six hours of driving so the the cost of it depends on how much real driving that you're doing yeah so if you check each of the packages and then you see which one suits you best um if i'm to advise i would say that you get the the one that has more real life driving although you can maybe 
go for stimulation if you want you know like for me i think i did two or three hours of stimulation you know because um it depends on how familiar you are with driving on the computer i mean people do it all the time all these games so you may not even need the stimulation if you have done a lot of driving but it is also good to take at least one or two hours of stimulation apart from that you also need to um, do the theory there's a theory part of it and then the 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 real practical part of it so for the theory it starts with the the book they call it the book you know but actually it's um it's online so the theory aspect you are supposed to read like pages of books and then after you have read all of it and understood what those materials are saying when it comes to the rules and regulations and driving and rules of um you know all this um all of that stuff you know surrounding the car and then how when it's safe what is not safe and all these regulations you know just go through them or once you understand them then the next step will be to write the theory now this theory it's it, it costs some money at first i didn't know that i have to um pay all the time i will tell you the story there so that you can prepare yourself but just uh, my advice would be that before you go for the the theory test make sure that you've passed it online because the good thing about the, the book i said that's the theory aspect the good thing also is that they have this um uh prepare test prepare or like uh i don't even want to say steam, trial trial is the best word so they have like the test trial meaning that you can actually have like a, sim a, 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 a similar thing online and then you can do the test and see whether you pass or not so like a, a practice so i would advise that you keep doing that practice until you pass all of it many times before you go and do the exam for me i went and then i i I was doing it online, okay, and I passed um, about once or twice, and then I failed the third one, and I passed the fourth one. I'm like, okay, you know what, I'm, I'm ready to do the, the test, you know. And then also my, my, my driver or my, my instructor, driving instructor, was also saying that you have to go and try to do the exam. Honestly, I shouldn't have listened because I just went there and I failed the first one. And personally for me, I don't like to go and do exam when I'm not ready. So I didn't feel like I was ready. And I said, I said to him, like, this was a mistake, you know, I'm not going anymore. And every time you go and write that exam, you have to pay about 37, 37 euros or 30 euros. You have to pay that. And um, so that first time I, I, I wrote it and I, I, I paid and I failed. And he said that you have to pay again next time i'm like what okay you know what i'm not coming to write this until i'm ready so my advice is when you do that book practice that's um practice test okay do it many times until you know you're ready like for me when i went the second time i've passed that test online like 10 times straight without failing like 10 times straight so i knew i was ready so i just went in and i wrote the exam and i came out and i passed so that's my tip for you when it comes to that make sure that you go when you're ready except you have money to to waste so after that then you do the driving test you know that's a real driving on the form it actually says shows four times so i think you can do it four times or even more but the, the after you finish your 12 hours of driving or how many hours of driving you you bought if you feel you're ready you can go for the test driving test if you think you're not ready then you can buy more i know someone that got 20 hours one point and then I was saying to the person, wow, 20 hours, that's a lot. I don't think I can do, uh, I don't think I'm going to need 20 hours. But funny enough, I did more than that, you know. So it depends on you if you had experience of driving before. If you do, then it's going to make things easier for you. So um, uh, just get how many number of hours you think you need. And when you are ready, you know you are ready, then you go for the for the test. Then um, one, I just feel like those people that take the test as the instructors some of them they actually just want to stress you out you know so just pray that you get someone that is more relaxed some of them are not relaxed at all and then they just want to make you tense and when you're tense you can't focus so you go for the test and the thing is that they don't really say much that's maybe the good thing they'll just sit down there and tell you maybe left or right and then center <laughs> straight and things like that and then they they'll, they'll tell you to if you don't understand you can ask you know and then they also ask you what language you want to speak or what language you want them to speak to you english or finnish so i say i will say that the main thing is a driving uh, um, practice you know if you're able to practice very well and then 
get understand everything and then the rules and then the driving should be easy because nobody should learn driving or can learn driving just by passing the test it's, it's something that you learn many years you know so at some point you just have to write the exam and then continue learning while you while you drive but here in finland there is the automatic and the manual if you sign up for the driving test then you choose what you want to use if you want to do the test with the automatic car or the manual car the thing is that if you use the manual car then you can drive automatic as well but if you use the automatic car to, to, to do the test and then you pass, you cannot drive the manual car. So you have to just stick to automatic. At least that's the rule for now. Maybe that will change later on, you know, but that's how it is. And also um, when you, you go, just try to ask. Like for me, during my driving practice, um, it was, I mean, I do understand Finnish some, somewhat, but sometimes the person says something in Finnish and I have to process it in my head and there's no time. Sometimes you're just driving. You have to be fast. You know, there's no time to interpret stuff in your head. So that's why also if your Finnish language is not so good, maybe English would help you as well because you don't want to have an accident because you're trying to interpret first before you take an action. So not good. And um, also for me, I wrote it twice. <laughs> the first one, I failed it because the, the guy was not, I mean, that guy was not, <laughs> he was not, um, he was not relaxed at all. I mean, he was, he was looking for every single fault. I mean, in the whole thing, the whole practice, you know, 45 minutes driving, if I miss one tiny thing, he would, he would fail me. I'm sorry, unfortunately you failed, you know? So he did that. And then I was like, okay, what do I do? You know? And when I went to drive it in the second time, I mean, I was so tense. I couldn't start the car, you know, but I just have to tell myself, think of the money you're paying because every time you, you go for the test, driving test, you pay about um, uh, 90 euros. Actually, let me tell you what you pay. Okay, you pay 97 euros for the, or 98 euros for the driving test and then for the car, for the driving car that you're using to drive. Some of them will charge you 100 euros. So every time you go to the test, it's about just book or prepare 200 euros for that practice so you need to make sure that when you're going you're ready you know and if you're not comfortable you can also change the person maybe like i know of somebody that went to the uh, driving test about six times and every time fail 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 you know the person was the 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 person that was um doing the test for her was just so tense and putting so much pressure on the person and then uh, uh on the seventh time she said she was just crying and crying like oh what do you want from me but at, at the end she 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 passed you know so it's um it's not so dreadful it's doable people have done it like me i've, I've done it i never i i have not learned how to drive for so long because um for many reasons i'm top on the list is that i'm quite like afraid of it just like driving the bike i was able to do that you know so and then the car i was able to do that so and since i did that test after i did it the the, the guy when he passed me he said to me you can you can only learn by practicing drive every day he said to me so since then i've been driving every day so the first one week after i got the license i was say a bit shaky you know but now i'm just i'm just driving and then just pressing the gas funny enough when i was going through the driving practice in the classes and all that and then my instructor would tell me when we go to the highway he would tell me gas gas in finnish meaning press the gas press the gas I'm like, at one point I said, leave me alone. <laughs> Let me go at 60 on the highway, <laughs> even if I'm supposed to go like 100. But with time, I, I was able to press the gas, you know. And he, I, I'm thinking, he should see me now pressing the gas. He won't be saying gas, gas. Now he'll be telling me, slow down, slow down. <laughs> I'm just joking. But yeah, um, it takes time, you know. So you won't learn it in one day. Just go through it, try to pass, and then keep driving and keep learning on the, on the job. You know, that's how you, you get it. How long does it does it last? Now the driving uh, card. I think before it used to be driver's license it used to be about um, five years renewable, but now you 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 it it lasts for about fifteen years. I think. I mean, you don't have to renew all the time. So, is it fifteen or twenty five? Please let me know in the comment section if you know. But um, and I don't have my card here right now. But it's about fifteen or twenty five years thereabouts. Yeah. So it's a long time now. Yeah. 
so good luck okay so apply and then just go through the process and you'll get a card but if you have already from your home country please bring it to make things easier for you i hope i answered this question and if there's anything i left out a very important thing in driver's license application please guys put in the comment section so that people that need this information can benefit from it and of course share the video so it can help someone that need it and um, i'll see you guys in the next one <laughs> bye